Yes, hello friends. Today I'm going to talk about a concept of a trapezoidal channel from engineering hydraulics. So let's look at it. This is a channel A, B, C, D. Given our four meters, our four meters stands for the bottom width of the channel. Then our AD, eh? AD is 70.2, which stands for the surface width. Then this distance Y here, which is 3.3, stands for the center line depth. This one stands for the center line depth. BC stands for the bottom width. AD stands for the surface width. What the other question say? Question says without using tables or charts, calculate the weight perimeter, hydraulic radius, and hydraulic mean depth. Now, this number is going to be done without any tables, without any calculator. So, we are going to do it from first place first. Let's do it from first place first. Let's get the dimension we cannot give. I can get this dimension here, from here up to here, then this dimension here, and then we shall calculate using first place first, not using tables. Ah, follow very well. Now, let's look at it. Our bottom width BC is 4 meters. This formula is the same as here. This is also what? 4 meters. Follow very well, this is not using tables, or using what? First principles. If this is 4 meters, also there is what? 4 meters. Now, this distance here, and this distance here, say that are the same. Let's let this distance here, let it be maybe, let this distance be x. This also be what? x. That distance, let it be what? x. So that means, to get x, you are going to add x. Solution. Let's first find the value of x because we're using first principles, we're not using any tables. We're going to say x plus 4 plus another x, the same as the surface width. x plus 4 plus x makes the surface width, which is 17.2. Let's find that. That means 2x plus 4, the same as 12, the same as 17.2. Let's get our x. That means our x is going to be 17.2 minus 4 over 2. So when we compute that, better what we shall find, we shall have 6.6 .6 meters. That means our x is 6.6 .6 meters. Also here is what? 6.6 .6 meters. Follow very well. Now this this y we say stands for the center line depth. Now this y which is 3.3 .3, is here, 3.3. Meters also here is what? 3.3. The center line depth. Remember, we said our force stands for the surface with it, BC. Then our AD stands for no BC stands for the bottom width. Then AD AD stands for the surface with it, which is 70.2. Then our Y, which is 3.3, .3, stands for the center line depth. So it says you have 6.6 and this one you can get what? The hypotenuse, you can get this H, hypotenuse AB, you can get it. Let's get the hypotenuse, use Pythagorean theorem. You can say A squared plus B squared, same as C squared. So that means our A is what? 6.6 .6 squared plus our B is 3.3 .3 squared, same as C squared. Our C squared is H, the hypotenuse H squared. So when you compute this very well, our H shall be equals to, when you compute very well, you shall find that our H is 7.4 meters. So that means our H is 7.4 meters, and also the same as the side, because the same triangle, this triangle is the same as this triangle here. Let's assume this area, A1, this rectangle is the same as area, A2, this area, A3. So you find that this hypotenuse AB is the same as that. So we can make a conclusion that, our AB distance, AB, the same as CD. If you calculate the same thing, which is what? Which is H and the same as 7.4 meters. So I've already found that. Now, the first one says you calculate what? The weighted perimeter. So what's the weighted perimeter? Number one, let's calculate the weighted. We are calculating the weighted perimeter. Let's call it P. That means our P is the same as. 
So the well parameter is going to be here. Look at it very well. So it sits the channel. The place to which is weighted is going to be AB, BC, and CD. You get. So that means the well parameter is going to be this is around that trapezoid channel, which is going to be AB plus BC plus CD. The place which is weighted. Our AD stands for the surface width. It's not weighted. So that means AB, yeah? AB, BC, and C is a weighted parameter. So let's find it. That means our P, weighted parameter P is going to be because our AB, we have already found it, is what? 7.4 plus BC is 4 plus CD. CD is 7.4. So when we compute this very well, we shall find that our weighted parameter is 18. 0.8 meters. That's very important. Now you're finding the hydraulic hydraulic radius. The same way I say is find the hydraulic radius. So by for finding hydraulic radius, we just need the area first. Let's first find the area, the area of the channel. Our area of the channel first, because we help us to get the hydraulic radius. Hmm? Hydraulic radius, the same as the ratio of the area to the weighted parameter is A over P. So but before finding the hydraulic radius, we can find first find what A, the area of the channel. So our A is going to be equal to for the channel, if you divide it, it's a trapezoid channel, if you divide it, you find that we have a small triangle A1, A2, and A3. So I'm going to find we have A1 plus A2 plus A3. So our area is going to be equal to our A1 is a triangle. If you see from our channel. It's going to be a half times the base of a triangle. Eh? It is what? 6.6. .6. It's going to be 6.6 .6 times the higher triangle. If, if you see from my channel, it is 3.3 it is .3 plus our A2. A2 stands for the rectangular area, which is going to be the base, which is 4. It's going to be 4 times 3.3. .3. Plus, our A3 stands for another triangle, which is the same. Right? It's going to be a half. The other triangle is going to be a half. The base is still the same as 6.6 .6 from our solution times the depth is going to be 3.3. .3. So that means our area is going to be equal to, if compute very well, our area which shall be equal to, if, if compute it, it's going to be 34.98. Meters squared. That's very important. So that means you cannot find the hydraulic radius. What's the hydraulic radius? You can say number two now. Hydraulic. Hydraulic radius. You can call it maybe R. So hydraulic radius R is the ratio of the area to the weighted perimeter. The ratio of the area to the weighted perimeter. So our area is. 34.98 Our perimeter we got already It is what? 18.8 So that is very important So after computing that We shall find that our solution of R The hydraulic radius is going to be 1.86 meters Very important hmm? So after finding that We can now find the last question Saying what? Hydraulic mean depth Number 3 we are finding We are finding the hydraulic Hydraulic mean hydraulic mean depth is going to be the M, eh? the same as the ratio of the area to the surface with it, BS. So that's the definition of hydraulic mean depth. It stands for the ratio of the area to the surface, the surface with it. So let's find it. So that means our area we have already got is what? 34.98 over. The surface width. My question was given us 17.2. So that means our hydraulic mean depth, dm, is going to be equal to this is meter squared over meters. So when we compute that, we shall find our answer is going to be 2.034 meters. So this is our hydraulic mean depth. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please see you next time for the next video. We shall talk about another channel.